lesson today on how to spray paint, mainly because I've never done it before. Apparently this is how we wait for spray paint to dry. From that to that. This is what the doorknobs look like with the first coat of paint. They're like this because underneath we have the power to kind of shift them around and make sure that we don't miss anything. This, these are the ones that we finished. And over here, I'm still in the works spray painting the hinges. Agnes is back at it today. Sure am. She's uh, come a long way with the doorknobs. They're looking pretty good. Back at it and feeling more confident than ever. She's learned and mastered the art of spray painting. It's so challenging. I was sitting around with a glass of wine while I was waiting for the spray paint to set so I could do the next layer. I think I can enjoy work like this. If it means sitting around with a glass of wine, I. I, th I think that's my, my jam. This is a before and after of the knobs. So really close in color to the original that existed, which is pretty cool. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So we were able to get all the cracks and crevices around the fancy design of the knobs. I'm actually really happy with this method. It made it really easy. And if you needed to, you could move it from underneath and just even spin it in its own spot and just do little short sprays of paint. You guys, this is so exciting. You won't believe what Brad's working on right now. He is getting ready to put on the sticker, the new sticker for the caravan. It's all about getting it in the right spot though. An old technique I learned from Opa. I used to do this all the time for a living. Coming over for the grand reveal. Wait for it. Ready? Ready. There's nothing. Taking the the uh, baseboards off of the caravan around the floor. These baseboards were holding the vinyl floor into place, so they have all been removed. Labeled, so I know where they go back. And um, yeah, there's the original, well, not the original floor, but the floor that came with the caravan when we bought it. It's all ready to come up. I'm just leaving it down now as a bit of a drop mat in case anything falls onto it or if we spill any paint give you an idea the original floor looks just like that the floor is coming up everyone prepare yourself it is for finally it. time for the floor to be lifted majestic old school beauty well that wasn't very hard I'll just lift the leg down oh. There you are. And believe it or not, people, that could be asbestos. Yeah, so the most important thing with this to remember is not to disturb it. We are going to be putting the new floor straight on top of this. Because of the time period that the caravan was built, there is a potential that there's asbestos. In the tiles. In the tiles. E. So that's the old floor. We got the new vinyl planks going in. And we'll give you a sneak peek of what to expect old. when the new floor gets put in. Bam! Old rustic planks. Look how cool that looks. You can see texture and everything to them. And he continues on the floor. Or should I say begins. This is going to be a total Brad job 
But to be fair, I'm going to be the one that's putting together the curtains, so it's all balanced out. It turned out really nice. I'm very happy with it. So I'm pretty excited right now because after a lot of work, we are finally putting all of the doors back in their spots. All of the hardware has now been painted and it's dry. We even uh, went through the effort of spray painting the screws so that they'll match. Maestro, screwdriver. The moment that we all have been waiting for. Without further ado, here is Agnes putting in the final screw. Ah! This, this one right here is the final one. That's it. That's the last covered screw. Everything's back in its place. I forgot to take some video footage of uh, the work I did on this cabinet behind me. Uh, originally, it came without shelving, I guess. So somebody put in their own custom shelves. I put them all back in. So we get a nice bottom shelf and a middle shelf. And what we're thinking of doing is hanging a clothing rack from the top so we can hang shirts and stuff in here, jackets and whatnot, and use this for, you know, foldable, foldable shirts and whatnot, socks, you know, put them all into a nice basket and store it away in here. She's got one curtain already Every done. Every day I'm sewing. Show the fine craftsmanship that goes into Agnes's curtains. Just that side. Don't, don't show my hemlines. What's the matter with your hemlines? They're all very crooked. <laughs> the point is that they stay together. They stay together. And they block the sunlight and, and they're going to look adorable on. once they're up and tied back. You have to hand it to her. You can't see really ah. quickly. <laughs> no! <laughs> but they are double-sided for blackout curtains. They are, they are lined. Yep. They're not double-sided. It's called lined. Okay. Lined as blackout curtains so that we can get a good night's sleep without lights. And trust me, even though Agnes doesn't like to have a completely dark caravan or any completely dark room in general, I don't. she can appreciate the fact that when you're camping and you get a lot of people with all sorts of different lights on their caravans and tents and whatnot, having the light kept at a minimum will be fantastic. I mean, I've got two windows done now. Mm -hmm. and I feel pretty proud of myself. I feel like I thought it was going to be a bit easier than it is. Not that it's hard. It's just extremely time consuming and tedious when you don't really have the proper space to lay out your fabric. One interesting thing and the reason why a lot of van lifers use curtains is to boondock around North America. Surprisingly, I've done some research here, and in New South Wales and the majority of Australia, except for Queensland and the Brisbane area, you can park your van on any street as long as you have a registered van, and all trailers have to be registered here in Australia. You can pretty much camp wherever you want, and no one can say a thing about boondocking along the way. So, technically, to this day, here in Australia, um, free street camping is available as long as you're respectful and don't push the locals. So curtains, believe it or not, can add heat, can keep the van cool, can keep the light out, and save your van from prying eyes. So we're gonna montage fast forward of Agnes sewing and building another curtain. Go!